I think more than not liking the call, he's mad at his own players. That was just an unforced error. He said, come on, let's play. It's NCAA tournament time, guys. 245 remaining in second overtime. Nate led 27-25 at the half. Regulation time finished at 47 apiece. First overtime, 59 all. Kozel McQueen with the follow-up shot on the missed free throw. Tied it up. Now the head gone on the switch. Wilson now on Wittenberg. Probably more capable of handling him. But come on, Pepperdine. I'm sure that's what Herrick's saying. And We're subtle. in this ball game. Subtle on Gannon. Wittenberg. Wilson did the job on Wittenberg earlier in the game in the second half when Wittenberg was just about closed out, knocking the ball away. Wilson on the steal, and a foul is called. It's against Victor Hanger of Pepperdine. Wittenberg is on the floor. Lorenzo Charles is on the floor. This has been an exhausting ball game. So McQueen and Lowe fouled out for North Carolina State Anger for Pepperdine. Valvano. Using up a bunch of towels here. Anger played well for the Waves tonight. If you're on the Pepperdine staff, I don't know if you ever watch a replay of this game. You have 25 heart attacks. <laughs> Wittenberg. Two-point lead for North Carolina State. Look how the emotion changed from a minute to go in the first overtime when they were celebrating at the Pepperdine bench and the NC State team felt that it would be a long trip back to Raleigh. Now it's the other way around as North Carolina State leads by three. Winding down at two minutes to go. We're live here at Gill Coliseum. Corvallis Arc. The waves of Pepperdine. 28 on the year. First round winners. Their last three appearances. They had the lead in first overtime. No basket. The foul was before the shot. No basket. 148 showing on the clock. Back in the game. Dane Suttle is on the line. The foul was on Terry Gannon, his second. So here is Suttle, who makes the front end. He had his problems at the line in the first overtime when Pepperdine was in the position to ice the ball game. 64 to 63. North Carolina State lead is one. They're in full court pressure now. Bailey. Charles brings it across, and he's tripped by Suttle, That's and that it. is going to be his fifth personal foul, too. So now they start falling off. Dane Suttle fouls out, having scored 16 points in the game, seven below his season's average. Leading all-time scorer for Pepperdine, goes to the bench and maybe the last time in his career. Sidney Lowe fouled out earlier. Suttle was 5 for 17 from the field. Well, I don't know. And you wonder maybe if playing in that shot clock now has NC State a little bit better prepared to play in a long game. They've had to run and run and run all during the regular season. Dane Suttle from Los Angeles for 20 points, 20 or more times this year, but not tonight. Charles, who missed his... First four free throws from the line makes the first. And now both teams are hitting their free throws, and NC State lead is three. We're in second overtime. First round action in the West Region. Dick Stockton and Steve Grody to see who survives between North Carolina State and White. Pepperdine with the ball. Nevada Las Vegas and Jerry Tarkanian's running Rebels await the survivors. Carmel Stevens, who replaced Suttle in the game. Ball knocked away. Good defense inside by Wittenberg and Gannon. But coming out with it is Bill Sadler, and he goes in and gets through. He just took the ball, not to be denied to the hoop. And Charles did a good job of not fouling him. They couldn't afford a three-point play. One-point ball game. One minute to go now, and a foul this time against Mark Wilson. So we have had trips to the free-throw line here. Carolina State leads by one. We're in second overtime. And I hope you've had a few cups, that's of coffee here to keep you up if you're Put watching. On another it. pot. <laughs> that's it. Timeout. <laughs> Pepperdine calls timeout. They have two remaining. When we come back, Wittenberg will go to the line. He's five for six from the line, all in the second overtime. We're in double overtime with a minute to go in the second session. 
West Region first round action. North Carolina State leading Pepperdine 66 to 65. Pepperdine in the first overtime period moved out to a six point lead with a minute to go. Couldn't hit the free throws to salt it away. And Kozel McQueen, rarely a scorer, made good on a follow up on a missed free throw with two seconds to go to send it into second overtime. And Derek Wittenberg has camped out on the line in the second overtime session and now has 20 points in the ball game. Six in the second overtime all coming from the line. So he has really had it under pressure. And that wouldn't surprise me. And that one too dropped, 68-65. So the Waves still have to come back as they had last three times up the floor, trailing by three. Gondras hit the street shooter. And now they're in a zone defense. Going to force him to hit it from the outside. Wilson, top of the key, misses the shot, gets the rebound, and off the glass, no good. Battling for the loose ball. And this time, it's Sadler. And Pepperdine calls a timeout with 37 seconds to go. And it was an alert Pepperdine team off the offensive boards. First Wilson, and then Bill Sadler. And now it's a one-point game again, and each team has one timeout remaining. Winner here, the running Rebels with Sidney Green, Danny Tarkanian, the playmaker, the coach's son. Right now, we have 37 seconds here. Pressure by the Waves, full court. Wittenberg trapped. And gets to Thurl Bailey. Gannon across the line. 30 seconds. Can't wait too long. Wittenberg trapped. They're going to have to do something. He's been up the line and will go again. And the foul committed by Mark Wilson by the Y to a hot yeah. Derek Wittenberg. They waited too long and they fouled the wrong guy. To me, you foul. If you don't steal the inbounds pass, you foul the guy who gets it. It was Charles. That's who I'd want to put on the line. You put him right on the foul line. Well, Pepperdine has used up its last time out. 24 seconds remaining, and it seems that Pepperdine really has had the uphill climb in the second overtime session because they've had to come up the court trailing by three just about every time the last two minutes of this second period. The basket. So I would guess that off a of missed free throw, that's the type of play they're going to talk about in the huddle. Princeton defeated Oklahoma State in an upset 56-53. to They'll play Boston College Sunday. And here's Wittenberg. Eight in a row. From the free throw line in the second overtime period. And they've really gotten the bounces. Dane That's Subtle. They got him at the free throw line. They got the big bounce when Kozell made his little shot to send it into the second overtime. Now Pepperdine, now he misses the second part, 69 67, and the Waves have no timeouts remaining. 20 seconds, they bring it up. Carmel Stevens out to Wilson. Wilson could be key. Gondrasic, an outside shooter. 12 seconds to go. Intercepted. Pass intercepted by Battle. And the foul against the Waves. And now North Carolina State is in a position to say, well, it was a struggle, but we survived that one. Well, pass right into the hands of Battle. And the foul was on Bill Sadler. His fourth. Once again, though, they've got to make the free throw here. This is just, you know, this is from not playing much. That's just, you know, what do you say about a play like that? Threw it right into the hands of the defender. The cheerleader now, Sidney Lowe, and a quiet, somber bench of Pepperdine, Terry Gannon. This is a free throw, nine seconds to go. The Waves will try to send it into three overtime. Wilson fires it up. Got it, no. No, it's off, no good. The rebound, one second. Disappointment. Pepperdine had it in its hands in first overtime. North Carolina State came back valiantly, and Jimmy Valvano says, I hope I don't get too many more of these, Steve. Hey, well, what do they do? They take it off, take the day off tomorrow or not? How do you think Jimmy Harrick feels? Boy, oh boy. Tough loss for Pepperdine. Ten ties, 12 lead changes, a game in which the running game never appeared, a game in which the hot shooters never appeared. Final score and double overtime. we got a lot more for you, so don't go away. 69-67, North Carolina State survives, and CBS coverage of NCAA basketball will continue. Jim Valvano will be with us after this word from your local station.